Hey everybody, James here with My RV Broker with another quick video about the differences between buying a car and buying a RV. If you haven't seen the videos yet, please go back and watch them. We're going through the top 10 reasons. We're starting out with number 10 and working down to the number one reason why it's different. But just as a very quick recap, if you look back on the first video for the series, which was the number 10 reason uh, why RVs are different uh, than cars when it comes to your buying experience is because primarily RVs are made by human beings and cars are made by robots. Uh, I explain in that video some of the reasons why that's important. And the number nine reason, of course, in that second video in our series was that you can kiss good fuel economy goodbye. And we talk about that as a driving force and a reason for purchasing a car, but that it's just not going to happen. You're not going to get good gas mileage when it comes to buying an RV. If you think you are, you're mistaken. Some Class Cs and Diesels and Bs get a little better, uh, but you're not going to get 30 to 40 miles per gallon. It's just not here yet and probably won't be here for some time. So with that said, let's get into our number eight reason why buying a car is different than buying a RV. And it's pretty simple. And it costs, I mean, it's about the cost associated with purchasing a RV as it relates to lemon laws. Now, what's a lemon law? A lemon law is designed uh, to protect you as a consumer. All 50 states, when it comes to buying a car, have a lemon law. And what that does is it protects you from buying what they deem a lemon straight from the factory, right, through a dealer as a brand new purchase. Some states do have lemon laws as it relates to used vehicles, but most do not. All, however, have the lemon laws uh, in place to protect you uh, when it comes to buying a car. Now, this is not necessarily true when it comes to an RV. There are some lemon laws that you're protected with, but it really depends on the state. So what you need to do is do your due diligence in your state. And you know, you've heard me say this before, go back and start researching, go on the Facebook group, start getting the real information from real people on their experiences when it comes to buying a RV from a dealer but also research what your rights are, how you're protected in case you buy a RV, new or used, and what your protection is in case there's something wrong or maybe something wasn't disclosed that should have been. Uh, this is really, really important because in some states, forget about lemon laws with RVs. It's a different, it's a recreational vehicle. It does not apply uh, the same way that a car would in the lemon laws. And so that's really, really important. So when you go in and buying a car, particularly a new one, you know that you're going to be protected if you have to go back to the shop several times. In some states, it only takes twice within a month for you to go back and get the same problem fixed that wasn't resolved to be deemed a lemon. And in some cases, like with these large manufacturing companies, Ford, Chevy, Dodge, these other ones, um, you know, they'll actually buy back that vehicle. They'll reacquire that vehicle and then fix it there at the factory and then sell it again. And when you pull up the Carfax, you're gonna see all those reasons what happened. A lot of times there's nothing wrong with the car. There was just one problem with it. And as a courtesy, they'll go back and they'll buy it because they wanna keep the customer happy. In some cases, the state will require them to do that. Um, this is not the same case when it comes to buying ARV. So it's super important for you to understand that as you go in and you buy, check out, go to the Secretary of State. Go on the website, find out what protections you have as a consumer when it comes to buying a new or used RV, if any, and understand that lemon laws don't always apply to a, to a RV. Hey, I hope that helps. Come back next week. We're going to have our number seven reason why as we count as we count down from the top 10 reasons why buying a car is different than buying an RV. And we'll look forward to seeing you then. Take care and God bless.